Hello, 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 and welcome. We are going to be jumping into some Slay the Spire. Um, this is a game I've watched a lot of. I've played, I don't know, I don't know how many hours. Actually, I want to check if I can. I've played a few hours, actually. I will not, because I'm going to mess it up. i played a few hours of this. I don't know, maybe three, three or four. Enough to unlock the characters. Uh, not much more past that. If we can go back, I wonder if we can find it. Probably can find it in here. Character stats. Oh, I played a total of six, almost six hours. Uh, three victories, eleven deaths. Uh, total for time, four hundred eighty-one. Boss slain, twenty. Uh, so we are going to go through this. We are still missing a lot of cards, um, and a lot of relics. So we're going to go in. We're going to start with the. I'm going to go back. The Ironclad. Uh, which will be the first character here. He's 80 health. Starts with 99 gold. His relic, which is some of the items in here are called relics. Um, heals you 6 HP. Some of the some of the things you can get are relics and cards. Uh, it's like a card based game. So let's embark now. I can tell you some more once we get into here. So you hit the whale. It gives you a little starting some starting options. And I think, um, based on the map, I think we're actually going to go with enemies in your first three combats. So next three or first three have one HP. Um, and we'll go and click that. It gives us these are our relics. So the mount limit, or is it the mount neo neo neal's lament. In the in the OWLS. Anyway, first uh, three combats. Enemies have one HP. So we're going to leave here. So this is the map, like I said. Um, here is your legend. Question mark rooms. Uh, they're called unknown, but pretty much they can be a lot of different things. Random events, fights, shops, pretty much anything else on the map and some more. Merchants or shops. Treasures, just where you, a chest you can see gold and a relic. Rest, where you can rest or upgrade your cards. Normal enemies and elites. So our goal currently is since uh, first three combats have one HP, we're going to travel up this line of question marks to this elite and try to kill them with that. Um, as long as we don't hit any or many fights throughout there, uh, we should be able to do that. So you got gold. Goes up here. You can buy stuff at shops or in question mark rooms might require gold. Potions. Uh, this gives you five strength. And cards. So, dual wield, headbutt, uppercut. We're going to go with uppercut. Um, this card does damage plus weak, which, as you can see on the screen, less damage from enemy attacks, and we do more damage. Speaking of that, we should also... This is the starting deck for the Ironclad. Uh, most characters have a certain amount of strikes and defends, which are pretty standard to each character, and then one or two special cards. So, Ironclad has Bash as the one special, like, unique card, and then we added uppercut. Try to explain some of this as I go. All right, so heal 20 or remove a card. Oh, we don't need to heal, so we're going to remove. And we are going to remove a strike. Try to get, get, get to our better cards like Uppercut and Bash. Uh, oh, remove another card. Move Defend this time. Try to keep the deck pretty even. We don't want to get up into a fight and not have any cards to fight with. So, lose Flex Potion, obtain a Relic. Yes. We got... Num Numchaku, or just a pair of Numchucks. Every 10 attack played, we get an energy. Pretty nice. Awesome. So we got this combat, but we'll definitely get the elite. So strike to six, bash, kills. Nice. So since we have a lot of vulnerable, I'm thinking Sword Boomerang, because it hits a consecutive amount of times. So if we get strength up and stuff, we can take advantage of that. And we will get a elite. Elite 20 kill him, as you will see, drops you a relic. Old coins, 300 gold. Smoke bomb and a car. Ooh, another sword boomerang. Our bloodletting. I think we might go with bloodletting. We heal six at the end of every combat. So, as long as we don't take too much damage, we should be able to take advantage of that. Let's see. We can go to another fight, or we can get a fire. And we're going to get a fire, and we will upgrade so you can rest for 30% of your max HP, or you can smith. I think we're gonna do that 
I think we'll do uppercut to extend that weak and vulnerable. Uh, for every increment, so that does two and two, it extends it to the next turn. So it pretty much will let you stack it if you'd like to. I think we're gonna do, yeah, uppercut, strike. We will not use bloodletting because there's no reason to. So this enemy put a ritual on himself, so he'll gain three strength every turn. Uh, he's vulnerable and weak. The heart's vulnerable. The broken sword is weakness. And it tells you how much he's going to attack for. So every turn he gains three strength. So you kind of want to kill him pretty quickly. So we're going to do this, this, and that. Which puts him pretty close to being dead. So we'll take four, but we will heal for six at the end of combat. So we should be completely full again. Um, I think we'll go with... Another sword boomerang. I'm, I think we're going to try to pivot this into some strength if we can find some. So maybe going for this elite here into this uh, shop to see if we can buy something good. Since we got the old coin. Self-forming clay. Whenever you lose HP, gain three block. So that'll be good with our uh, bloodletting. Blood uh, we can gain a little bit of block off of that. So, there's knives coming in. We will use bloodletting. Get that three block next turn. Oh, I should remember that. Ha. Huh. Um, we're going to bash him. He has, they have artifacting, which negate one de debuff. So he negated our vulnerability that we tried to put on him. And then these are random, so we're going to try to hit him, but do what you can. So this is a new game. I, I took a, a little bit of a break. Uh, from games on the channel as we were doing the different uh, streams and we were trying, me and my wife have been getting into that. However, it's, it was kind of time to bring them back. Nice, nice distribution. Um, and I've been wanting to, I just didn't know what game I wanted to play. So we're going to bring Slay the Spire on as one of the games. We are going to bring, I think we're going to bring Ark back, but I think we're going to uh, change up worlds. And I think we're going to do some modded. Additionally, I was going to talk about the game a little bit. Uh, these are dazes. So his negative in effect is they put dazes in your deck, which are unplayable. Can't play them. And ethereal, uh, at the end of the turn, they exhaust themselves. So pretty much they remove themselves from your deck at the end of turn, as you can see. But like I was saying, yeah, I think we're going to bring modded arc into the, to the fold. That's something we are going to play. And, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Uh, I've been looking at different mod packs, looking at different people who have been playing, getting some ideas. And I think we're going to pick up the same mod pack that XB Crafted uses. It uh, looks pretty fun. I played it a very little bit before I reset the computer. So i got to double check that it's uh, still currently working. But that is a thing that we might be bringing on. So gold war paint, upgrade two skills. So let's look at the cards. I think we're definitely going Anger. I like Anger a lot. Um, I didn't mention that this is attack skills. That's their difference. There's also powers, which we currently have none. So this will upgrade two of our skills. Oh, Bloodletting and a defense. Not bad. But yeah, that's kind of my current plan. To think. Yeah, we'll go this way. And yeah, I, I just haven't got a chance to record it. Oh my. I think we will strike block yeah that's the current plan just haven't got around to recording it. it's my first you know day where i've you know felt like getting back into it um with the, the amount of streams and stuff we've been doing it kind of threw me you know out of the rhythm of recording you play you know for three or four hours at a time you just sometimes you just don't want to get on and you know don't feel like it but i want to get back into the channel we've been doing a lot of vlogs every morning and i've gotten really used to them so now I'm going to try to get some more different content on here. We've been doing some, you know, different D&D &D things. And I've been trying to mix it up with what we've been putting out. But, you know, got to get some gameplay back on here. It's a gaming channel as it is. So trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, these are Angers. Uh, the reason I like them is you add a copy of them to your discard pile. So pretty much they can be bad because you could turn your whole deck into just a deck of Anger. Oh, we had two more energy. We could have finished that. Oh, well. Anyway, 
Um, so you can have a full deck of anger. Increases your damage as you go. Because um, you fill up your deck. It's really good with certain relics. And you know. Kind of. You can have a whole hand. So you can play out a lot of attacks. Which is pretty nice. So. Exhaust a card. Deal three damage to all enemies. I don't think that's something we might be wanting. We were looking for something for some strength gain. I'm not seeing it. Pentagraph would be really good for us. Since I'm still pretty new. Heal 25 before boss. And every time you shuffle your discard pile, gain six. With us making our discard discard pile bigger, I don't think that'll be any good. I think we'll go with Pantograph. And then taking a shrug or a flash of steel. Let's go flash of steel and a shrug. And we'll remove a card. Why not? I think we have a lot more attacks, so we'll remove a strike. And then we will upgrade. Um I'm thinking anger, because every copy it'll put in the discard pile will be an anger plus. So it adds a lot more of upgraded attacks by upgrading it first. So this, and you'll see, made a copy of itself. Discard pile. And blah. Do not need to use bloodletting if you don't have to. Yeah, anger plus. The enemy put vulnerable on us. That's their ability. Spore club. So 13 damage coming in. I think. Let's definitely shrug, defend, and then sort of boomerang. Right? Get us fully defended. See if we can get heal up a little bit before the boss comes out. And bam. Awesome. Oh, we used our number two. I think Thunderclap. Apply some vulnerability across a like an AoE, which will be good. And who is the boss again? Guardian. I think we'll be Fine. I think we should smith again. Does this put two? It does not. So we will go anger. But yeah. Try to get some new games in. Uh, I've been enjoying this game a lot. That's why I wanted to bring it in for the first kind of game we play. Back in the rotation. Then modded arc and then I don't know what else. Um, I've been debating on whether to add what we stream onto the channel. I did it for a little while there, but I feel like it's kind of cluttery. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. All the recordings we make up on Twitch. So this guy has mode shift. After receiving 30 damage, he will switch to defensive stance. And he intends to defend. So I think we'll definitely bash, anger, flash of steel, anger. Yeah, nice. And then we will shrug. So that's a good one. The Guardian would... Kind of his big deal is uh, when he's in an aggressive stance, he'll his like second turn, he'll do a big attack that does so much damage. And when he's in defensive, he has sharp hide, which every attack you do to him deals three damage back to you. So he'll hurt you if you hit him. We're not looking to perfect this, so I think we are still going to punch him, which we can't perfect it at all. So we're going to hit him with that. And then a strike. Sword Boomerang would do like 12 damage back to us, so... I don't really want to do that. And then this turn we'll get 9 block, which we get. And he will... I think he'll stand up this turn after doing the 12 damage. So we're going to defend. No reason... We could Thunderclap to extend the vulnerability. I think we should. We'll take 1 damage, but... We'll get 3 next turn from the self-forming clay. Yeah. He's doing 20 now. Anger. Anger. Yeah, we'll just play out the hand, pretty much. And then keep him from doing that much damage to us. Uh, sharp hide again. We need to... Probably should defend once. Do flash or steal. Defend again. Anger. Attack. So we're going to take eight, but we're still doing fine. Pretty easy, easy boss to go to get for us. Another anger. We are filling our deck up with angers, which is probably not. Anger gets worse over time because it, you know, it eats into your draw. Like this time we drew, you know, two angers, but we didn't get any defend or anything, any defense or anything. And now we have two unspent energy that we can't do nothing with because we had no other cards that cost anything. So like this time, three angers, which is fine. It's eight damage that scales on itself, but could be bad. So I think a demon form is what we're going to go with. 
uh, two strength at the start of each of your turns. It's pretty expensive, but with all the angers and the multi-attacks, this is kind of what we're looking for. Uh, Juggernaut, every time you block, deal five damage. Not as useful. And Fiend Fire, pretty much you exhaust your whole hand and get rid of it, and it does seven damage per card. So yeah, I think in demon form. And these are your boss relics. They are a little better than normal ones. Eternal Feather, for every five cards in your deck, heal three HP when you're in a rest site. Coffee Dripper, you can no longer rest. Or Sozu, you can no longer obtain potions, and you gain an extra energy for these two. Definitely go in the Sozu route. Be really good for us. Okay. So, we have 125. Not a lot of money, so early shops probably aren't what we're wanting. Maybe hit up this question mark. Maybe take on the Elite. That's what I'm thinking. So he starts with Plated Armor. So every turn he gets 14. And every time he receives unblocked attack damage, he loses one. So I think... Yeah, this is Demon Form. Bloodletting. Get three more. And then we can block and strike. Strike really didn't mean anything, but I really wanted the double block. So now... We're getting two strength every turn from demon form. So now these angers deal 10 apiece, which is kind of what you want. And this one, it only dealt three, three times. Now it does five, three times. So instead of doing nine, it does 15. That's kind of like the big, big upside to uh, Sword Boomerang. We should have, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, uppercutted before we used those angers, but it's fine. So with the vulnerability seven, and he increments the plated armor down a lot. Okay, so he's still vulnerable. This one first. His armor is gone, so... Thunderclap. I think we'll just play out all our attack. Oh, we didn't. We didn't need to calculate it. Uh, I'm thinking Pommel. Get that card draw. Try to keep up with the amount of angers we're putting in the deck. Get some more use for him. Let's see. This could be good. Uh, fire Breath. At the start of your turn, deal one damage for each attack played. I'm playing through a lot of these angers. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Maybe a card removal. We'll have just enough money to do that. I'm trying to double check. Yeah. I think that's what we want. And then we'll remove a basic strike again. Make the deck more consistently uh, attack based. Okay. These guys are not good. Uh, so flight, they take 50% less attacks and they'll fall out of the sky if you do three attacks, hit them. So, 10 damage coming in. They do stuff in multiples of like five or big attacks. I'm trying to think of how I want to, let's do a shrug first, see if we get an anger. We didn't. Okay. So I think, hit him. Just hoping it would target and knock him down. I think we will bloodlet and strike him. So the weakness may hit where he didn't attack and we got enough block. So it should be fine. They will upgrade their strength and then those, you know, five hit attacks, like now it's two by five. He doubled his attack. Fire breath, flash of steel, pommel. We haven't drew any angers yet. Oh, that's not a good one. So that, yeah, knocked him down. And we'll do that. So this turn is still gonna hurt. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about the fire breath. But with all the unblocked damage, we'll have a lot of block this turn. So 27 block. This is kind of what we were wanting. Is the different uh, angers to come in and really assist with uh, the fire breath. Yeah, anger. Thunderclap. Ooh, so he'll die. We should shrug and defend. That's good. Nice. So it should be easy to finish him off. So I think that this combination kind of works pretty well. I've not really done anything with fire breathing. I think it's actually a like a frowned upon card, per se. But I don't think it's too bad. Rupture be, could be good. We really want some more strength. So could Heavy Blade, though. 14 times. And it's uh, affected by strength five times. Um, as good as this is, I don't think it's what we're going to go for. It's a little cumbersome being a two drop. 
I think we want to go with the rupture. Could be the wrong call, but we will see. So he's going to do a negative effect. Okay, and then this will do no damage to him, so... Oh well. He has malleable. Upon receiving damage, he'll do three block. And when it's triggered, it increases to three by three. So, do that first, get the vulnerable. That. Oh, fire breathing. That's kind of what we want to see. Uh, if you're wondering why our defenses do less, he made me frail. So, block does 25% less for two turns. Which sucks because he's doing 21 damage. It's going to really hurt. Ooh! Lots and lots of damage. Okay. We, should, we need to block this turn. Oh, we could just play Demon Form. I don't think it, Demon Form is quick enough for this kind of combat. Yeah. Getting that extra block, I think, is way more important. Alright, negative effect. Let's really... Oh. Ooh. Yeah. But we could uppercut and pommel. I think we just want to deal the damage. Yeah. Much better idea. Because now we should hopefully be able to kill him this turn. Yeah. Essence of Steel. Sozu ate it. Yeah, this is kind of... Well, Pummel deals two damage four times. So, be really good. Dropkick's also really good. Um, gain one energy and draw a card if the enemy's vulnerable. We have a lot of that. But I think we'll go with the Pummel. Really make use of our demon form. Fire breathing, block, strike, and strike. Alright, so pummel, anger, pummel, strike. I think we'll pummel first, make sure we didn't get demon form. Yeah, this will be a good one. So the only problem with pummel is we don't have demon form like in the opening hand. So, there's no, I think we'll save it right now in, in lieu of sword boomerang. Alright. So she heals him and he does most of the attacking and defending. This will be a good one. That, and this, and then anger. Still get some damage in there. So the goal is going to be to get demon form and let it increment our attack while we uh, hit him with these, these small attacks. So, um, we're going to uppercut. We're going to flash a steel first to see if we can get a defend. But what's going to be better? Defending for eight... How many increments of this have we done? How many attacks have we played? I don't know. I don't think it's been four, though. Um, that's kind of what we were looking for. I think we had only played three. Now we can just hammer her now with the strength gain. Easy peasy. Another Thunderclap. Battle Trant. That'll be a good one. Get some extra draw. Really draw back into those angers so we can play a bunch of attacks. And we want a smith. I think it has to be... What do you get? Zero cost. Pretty good. But I think it has to be demon form. That extra strength every turn will be great. Only other one. Fire breathing. What do you? Makes you also zero cost. I think the strength game is more important. Really start to, you know, increment that up. I think we can take it on an elite. I think we're prepared for it. Battle trance early. <laughs> Not a good... Not a good draw off this one. All right, we'll get him down first. I was hoping that would split the difference. It did not. We could shrug and hope for a zero cost. We didn't get it, so we still won't take no damage though. But I think that guarantees him to attack next turn. So he gives him strength and he's doing 20 friggin seven. Oh, this isn't good. This is real not good. Vulnerable. Pummel him. I was really hoping you'd be some, like, uh, you know, defense. Check. One times four. Nice. Um, I don't think we'll play Pummel yet. We'll do what we can there and take a load of hurt. 27 damage. Okay. De-informed. That's what we want. And then we just want to 
beat the living shit out of you. Okay. We still have a smoke bomb. If we have to, we can escape the fight, but... Oh, you're doing another 27? Okay, battle trance. We should have flashy steel first. That was a dumb move on my part. Hmm. So, anger, flash of steel kills that. Defend. Think we will still wait on the pummel and deal damage to him. Gets him pretty close to dead. Woo! Okay. Die. And then uppercut. Damage. Sword boomerang. We can't bloodlet because it will kill us. 45. It's gonna be it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really tight. And he decides to attack. I think we can do enough damage. Yeah. Cut it close. Cut it really close. But I think we need a stronger defensive card and flame barrier. And I think we can't take this elite. There's no way. I think we want to cut to this. Rest. Take that elite. Uh, we cannot do that. Gives you a book, but. It's pretty good, but if we would have took, you have to take damage for it, and it's not worth it. So we gotta get through one fight. It's not a great one to be in right here. We have a lot of zero cost. He confuses you, which randomizes the cost of your cards, which honestly is not that great for us. I don't want to play pummel yet. I want it to be more impactful. Zero cost shrug, great. Uh, Battle Trance, get some more cards. Early Fire Breathing, Pommel Strike. Zero damage, he's doing 22 damage. We might be dead. Yeah, if we don't, we're gonna Smoke Bomb. Take no damage, heal for six. Use that potion, good use of it. Rest here. 38, another elite. Book of Stabbing. This one's also going to hurt us a lot. But that rupture will mean a lot to us when we do this. So will this fire breathing. And then we want to defend, anger. Oh, we should have thunder. We'll double defend, actually. Because I think that'll mean taking less damage here. Um, good one right there. 12. Doesn't completely block him, but if we shrug, it will. Then sword boomerang. Because he does multi attacks. Oh, not a good turn. Not a good turn. Oh, crap. Demon form, bloodletting. Die. It was a risky move. Take a lot of damage right there. 16. And no defense. Oh. Oh, Pinnib. 48. Oh. Yes. Pinnib does... Every 10th attack does double damage. Saved our butt right there. Um, I don't think we take any of these. Carnage could be good, but I don't think so. I think we're just going to keep skirting up here until we get to the boss. Oh, bludgeon. So good. But I think in flame... We need more strength to make these angers and these attacks we're doing do more damage. Quicker. Oh, this is a good setup turn. Good setup turn right there. Two strength up. Fire breathing. All that jazz. Um, this, and then this. And then this. Nice. Kind of what we were looking for. Splitting that difference. Battle Trance first. Ooh, demony. I think we will. Because then we can Bloodlet. Uh, we can't draw, but the Shrug would just be good for block, honestly. Try to get some of his stuff down, and then we will double block. Still going to get hit, but it should be fine. We are cutting it real close. How much do you do? 8 times 4. Almost dead. Yeah, we got you. We have your number. Oh, we wasted pin, pin nip, though. 
Um, clothesline could be good. I don't think so, though. Another clothesline. Yeah. I don't think either one of those. Clothesline's good because of the weakness, but... Are we fighting for the boss? Yeah, I don't think it'll... I don't think it'll matter with him. Was one of them upgraded? This one's upgraded, though. Let's take it, actually. That one. One of them. Um, we're gonna still rest. Get 24 and then 25 more when we enter the fight. Puts his almost back to full. Nice. Fire breath early. And flame early. Flame barrier. No damage taken, and he'll take a little bit. A lot of setup done. Oh, this is a good turn. Demon form, definitely. And then... I guess we're boomerang. So Pummel could do 7 times 4. I think we can wait on it. Let's really just battle trance it up. Uh, we can't... Flash is still just a good zero cost. Start really filling our deck with these angers. Oh, it's not 4... We should, don't need a defense, so we should just really, really just hit the boy. Yeah, I think we'll wait on the pummel. Let the demon form act a little bit more. Let it get a little stronger. Because that's the whole point of this, is to make use of that uh, demon form giving us that strength. Okay. I know at some point this boy does a, a not, not good thing. And uh, really wants to smack us. We'll shrug. Oh, can't do that for cut though. That's gonna get some good vulnerability. I'd l we need to keep prolonging this uh, weakness. I think we'll bloodlet just for the strength. We got 15 strength up right now. Yeah, 13 times, you know, three, because we're weakened right now. But yeah, our attacks. If we get draw that pummel, we might be able to kill him just with that. 18 times two. Oh, 20 times four. Though. That's 80 damage right there. Uh, battle trance if we get any if we pull it yeah we pulled some a uh, 52 damage anger or you could do 40 times four nice good use of a pin nib we don't exhaust enough blocks retain not that great 30 we're hurting on blocks so i think that's a good a good good thing uh transform three transform how many strikes do we have left two and a defend um, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's the Black Star. 10 HP after every fight. I don't think we're hurting enough. Yeah, I think we'll take Black Star. I don't know if we'll fight any more elites. Uh, but if we do, it'll be worth our time. So 200 gold. We'd like a late shop, if possible. Yeah, one of these two. So how many question marks should we get? Shot. I don't want to go to the shop though, but you can do a lead quest. It's a good line though, and then we can go to that late shop. So this one will be unless there's something really good. I think that's how we want to go. Okay, hit you, demon form, defend. Good turn. So we get extra draw from pocket rot. If we play three of those cards, you draw three at the start of my next turn. Really good. Let's do this in the right order. Fire breathing. Then flash of steel. Uh, Bloodletting. Shrug. Battle trance. Get as much draw as we can before you play the battle trance. Make all these bros vulnerable. Anger. I'm going to try to kill that one. Oh, we should have did inflame first. Anger again. The question is now. Impervious? I think so. Because I have 11 block right now. And they're doing 18 plus 25. Yeah. Just really get that done. Uh, the bad thing about these guys is they have lifelink. If they're still on enemy alive, uh, after two turns, they revive themselves. 21 damage. Let's see. You're going to die just from residual, residual, like, beating everyone up. Or that could kill you. Not really what I was wanting. Um, hopefully, oh, that one's so close to dead. That's what you want. You want him to get close to dead, but not kill him. So we need to do three attacks. We'll kill this one while killing this one. So we want to kill it, kill it. Boom. Kind of the, the goal. Seeing red would be good. Spot weakness is also really good. Let's see what this little one has. 
armaments, definitely. And then, think about weakness. We really just want to keep that strength gain. Um, pfft, we'll lose one of the sword boomerangs. Okay. We will take uh, damage. I want to play demon form, and I will play rupture. Oh, rupture's whenever you lose HP from a card. Rupture's actually not that good for us. Now that I'm really thinking about it, well, actually, the thing. For some reason, I thought it was whenever you just lost HP. Spot weakness, really good here. Bloodletting, just so we can do more. Um, this one here. Armament. Upgrade that. Then we'll do that. And then this. Nice. So hopefully we'll be able to kill a mixer. Yeah. Anger. Pommel. You're dead. Another demon form or another fire breath? I think a second demon form is too much for us. I don't think we will be able to play it. Then another pommel. Get that draw. We probably could stop adding cards because we're at 28, but why not? Lantern's really good. Energy at the beginning of your turn. Uh, at the beginning of your first turn. Beginning of combat, I guess is how you would say it. Another fire breath? Ooh, or whenever you play tax, game one strength. That's what you want. We have so many, like, zero cost attacks. It'd be real good for us. And why not? We'll take this elite. Ooh, she might can kill us. So her swords do uber amount of damage if they're on the field for more than one turn. We should shrug first. Impervious. As good as that is, I don't think we need it yet. Yeah, I think they do like 25 damage this turn each. Yep. Not good time. I want to kill the swords. And I think I'm not gonna be able to, so. We're going to take an ouchie, but I think now that we got double fire breath, that this will be a, a good, good time. In flame, clothesline you, 22. Oh, we killed this one. Um, yeah, we will anger that one just to kill it. Kill this one. Sword boomerang. Good way to do it. Still gonna take a big hit. But I think we are on the upswing now. Upgrade pummel. 22 more. So half that 11. All right, she's gonna be summoning now. We really wanna get, get on the upswing of it right now. So that, this, and bash. Keep playing through attacks. Yeah, we got her. Yeah, she is done. Ski two two relics. Bag of marble applies vulnerable. Happy flower every three turns you gain an energy. Really good. Cards another in flame. Yes. Ooh, I think he's not fun. I don't remember what he does, but I think he's not fun. Um, battle trance. Not as good of a pull as I would have liked. Oh, but Sword of Boomerang will be good. Get that double damage on it. It's pretty good. And a strike. We always want to make sure we play three attacks if we can. So Constrict, at the end of your turn, take 10 damage. And he's doing 16. Ouchie, ouchie. And we have no... We are going to be almost dead once we're done here. Because he's doing... 16 plus 10, 26. We're going to be down to what? Yeah, down to 7. This might be Dunskiones for us. Okay, so 10, so 13. We'll be down to 3 after the Constrict. So, yeah, we have to kill him now. So, spot weakness. I don't think we can, though. Uppercut. Um, can she do pummel strike? Yeah. Then pummel. Barely. I didn't even calculate it. 
Um, I don't think any of these. Cleave could be good. Another block, actually. True grit. Oh, heal 20 and become Curse with Rise. Yeah. Or four max. I think we'll do this. It hurts, but we need an unceasing top. Honestly, this is kind of what, what you want with an anger build. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Really good. Really, really good, actually. Riot kind of sucks, though, because you can't make use of it. The goal would be to fill your whole deck with angers and then just draw through them. Like, you can keep drawing, which I don't feel like we play out our hand enough to, like, effectively make use of it. Uh, spell weakness, yes. Because our deck is so fat already. But we're going to do this. I really want to really put a wall up on this dude. Oh, we want to do a multi-attack. Really get used to that double damage. A draw. Oh, we can't draw. Flame barrier. Might as well. And we'll do a rupture. I don't think it'll be that useful, but it will be fine, or it should be fine. And flame. Um, uppercut. Flash of steel. Clothesline. Three more attacks played. That gives us another strength. Uh -huh. I think definitely impervious. Then we'll just play out like a uh, little bit of a prep hand. Okay, no spot weakness. Draw through. Yeah, I think we have so much draw already built into the deck. Unceasing top isn't as good as I would want it to be. It's still pretty good. Should have thunder clap first. Uh, I didn't realize we didn't have him vulnerable already. But no, this is pretty good. Two fire breaths. We need to upgrade them, I would say. I wonder if I can just kill Yeah, we can kill him. Uh, Iron Wave could be good, and Pommel could be good. I think we'll go Iron Wave. Just need a little more defense in the deck. I feel like we're lacking in that department still. Reaper to heal? Uh, nah, I think it's too cumbersome. Uh, heal to full, lose 10 max HP? Nah. Not feeling it. We meant to go this way. Well, we spent all our money anyway, so it's fine. Oh, but we have to go through that elite. We should have healed. Find some potions. I can't take any of them. Thank you, Sozu. Ooh. Ooh. This may kill us. In all jonesty. So this would be the transient. He has shifting. Upon losing HP, he loses that much strength. And he dies in five turns. But every turn, he deals a shit ton of damage. So, pretty much you would do, want to do just enough damage to keep him from attacking you. So, like this turn, we are SOL. We should armament, upgrade this. That'll heal enough. And then we'll play this. So, like this turn, I think it goes up by 10. So, yeah, now he's doing 50. So, we need to do 50 damage to him. Which I think with the angers and stuff in here, we should be fine. And then we got seven. So pretty much you just gotta survive for five turns while dealing enough damage. 60, so next turn will be 70. Battle trance and flame. Uppercut, make him weak. Pommel. Can't draw. So zero. The goal would be to come out of this taking no damage so we can go into the next fight a little stronger since it's an elite. This is gonna be a hard one to get it going on. Shrug. I think, yeah, it'll be just just enough. As you see on Cease and Talk, draw us another card right there. Uh, none of these. Exhaust all non-attack cards, get seven blocks for each. Clash, if you have, uh, if only attacks in your hand, it's zero cost, 18 damage, or disarm, enemies lose two strength. Uh, whirlwind, seeing red, I think we'll take it. Gives us more energy so we can maybe play out more of our hand. And it's a zero cost. So, the big head, giant head is what we call, slow. Uh, whenever I play a card, he takes 10 more damage from the next card, pretty much. So, 
the way you want to play this dude is play all the cards you're going to play first um, before you play your damage. And now we're doing what you would do with Unceasing Top. You start cycling through, which allows you to play a lot of extra card. That's why it's really good with a whole deck of Angers. If you have all zero cards, every time you draw, you get this free draw indefinitely. Uh, spot Weakness, Fire Breath, Pommel. Let's not take that much damage. All right, 38, 13 damage coming in. Can we get any more strength? We should do our draw first. Yeah. See if we can make a good pummel come out of this. It'd want to be our last card anyway. Really try to, yeah, 40 damage. Oh, 21 damage, four times. Get that pin dip, that's really good for us. Nice. No more damage. Oh, did that, was that not our pin nib? We should play one more card if we could. Um, we're gonna lose our pin nib anyway. So yeah, I guess a 32 damage anger. Draw. Demon form, yes. Then we'll just play it out. See if we can get anything good with uh, Unceasing Top. If not, we'll play out anything that gives us the best opter draw. One of the downsides to Impervious, I guess. Hmm. Upgrade this other Defend, and we will play them both just to uh, keep him from hurting us. This guy's definitely a battle of attrition. He has 500 health. 35 damage. Is that really necessary? I don't think we can kill him as much as I would like to. Definitely should have played the freaking Thunderclap. Bloodloading again. Oh, actually, I take that back. We definitely will. So, letter opener. Every three skills, you deal five damage to all enemies. Gambling chip at the start of your turn. You can throw a bunch of cards back in your deck and redraw. Which is really good for us. Uh, none of those. All right, twin strike, maybe. Uh, since it's the last fight, I think we will. Well, we'll be up to 50 something. We could smith something and make it zero cost, one of these fire breathings. Which might be really good. How much does this go by? It goes by one. Now let's make something zero cost. So maybe we can cycle through more. Because we're going to heal 25. Which up to 63, so really nice there uh, that goes away let's try to get a bunch of our powers out I guess would be a nice one yeah fire breathing and flame iron wave strike and defend thunderclap not bad we'll take eight damage to start with but both of their artifacting is gone and uh, we get a bunch of powers out so this is a good turn Uppercut to weaken you. Oh, it sucks we have both Flame Barrier and Impervious. We can't play them both, though. Go so play Flame Barrier, leave that in the deck. Because he'll take some damage now. Good way to play it. Ooh, this will be a good hand. I think we want to focus on getting one of these gone. So, I think we'll focus on Donut. Our thing is Donu. Yes. So, three energy, True Grit. We have nothing to exhaust. Rupture. Bloodletting more energy. So, yep. The way this is going to go is we cycle through. It's really good with leather opener to deal that, you know, five damage every time. Oh, that sucks. Demon form would have been a nice, nice thing to have. Okay. Get all the draw in first. Inflame. Flash of Steel. Pummel is only 48. I think we'll save it. We're not in any hurry. Get some weakness on him. 26 four times would have been good. Been very good. Oh, we should have used this a long time ago. This turn's gonna hurt. 24 damage. So it's track three with 21. Ouch. Oh, this is a really bad turn. Will this turn kill us? Mmm, be close. We definitely need him to have the weakness. Whew. Bad turn. Yeah. 10. Oh. We cannot have another turn like that. But here's where it starts getting really good. Like, 20 damage angers. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to... 3 HP. We've done 3 attacks, I think, at least. Let's go ahead and play Demon Form. Yes. 
I was really nervous that we fucked it up. Alright, so the goal will be we want to kill him this turn if possible. Nice. Victory. First run. Not expected, but pretty happy with it. What was the score? 800. Not a good score, but not a bad one. Was it 8? Eight, 8-something? Eight 832? Not bad. But, new unlocks. Emulate, Evolve, Wild Strike. Pretty good. I don't think we'll get a second one now. We need 1,500. But guys, that'll do it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, show some support. A little bit of a new series, as it would be. So hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, guys.